Hello, this is a maths video all about numbers. For this lesson, you're going to need a whiteboard or a piece of paper, a pen or pencil, and a number line. This is my number line. I got it from the internet and printed it. You can do that or you can even draw your own. We're going to start by learning about this number. Anyone know what this number is already? It's not an egg and it's not an oval today. This is the number zero. Can you say zero? Zero means nothing. Can you say it like this? Zero means nothing. Your turn. Zero means nothing. If you have zero apples, you don't have any apples at all. If you have zero socks, you don't have any socks. And if you have zero toys, you have no toys. Zero means nothing. Can you go into your house and find zero things? What did you find? I hope that you didn't go to get anything because zero means nothing. Can you show me zero on your fingers? Maybe you can do this. You can't show me your fingers because zero means nothing. So you shouldn't be showing me any fingers. Now, I'm going to show you something called a 10 frame. As we learn the numbers, we're going to put them on the 10 frame with orange cubes like this. And I will find the number of cubes. But if I find zero cubes, I can't pick up this many cubes. I can't pick up this many cubes because zero means nothing. So how many cubes should I pick up? None, zero. So when I put zero cubes on my 10 frame, it looks just like this, it's empty. It has 10 empty boxes because zero means nothing. I can't put anything on. I'm going to find zero on my number line. Maybe you can find it. Zero is on the left. It's usually the first number on your number line. And there it is. You can see that it's an oval shape. Can you find zero on your number line? If you don't have a number line, maybe there's something else in your house that has a zero or an oval on it. You can have a look. Now we're going to practice writing zero. You're going to need your whiteboard or your paper and your pen or pencil now. To write zero, start at the top, and when we write, we always start on the top left. Start at the top and go all the way around in an oval shape. Good job. Let's do another one. Start at the top and go all the way around in an oval shape. Good job. Maybe you'd like to make some bigger zeros as well. You can put the lid on your pen and make a big zero shape with your finger in the air. You can also make that shape on the floor or if you have someone else living in your house who would like to play, you can ask them if it's okay for you to draw that number on their back. That's a good game. Once we've practiced some more numbers, you can draw any number on their back and they have to guess which one you're drawing. So we've written some zeros and now we are going to turn those zeros into a number sentence. does that number sentence say? That number sentence says zero add zero equals what's the answer? Well if you have zero add zero what do you have all together? Think about it in your head. Zero add zero equals zero. If you have no apples and you add no apples, then you still have no apples. Zero add zero equals zero. Maybe you can write that on your paper or whiteboard now. 
The last thing that we're going to do is learn to write the numbers as a word. Lots of number words are tricky words. That means we can't use our sounds to write them, but our sounds are still helpful and they still help us to write the letters. I'm going to tell you what letters to write using the letter names. But in the word zero, you can still use your sounds to hear that initial sound. What is the first sound in the word zero? Listen, zero. What was that first sound? You're right, it's z. z. The next letter in the word zero is e. The next letter is r. And the next letter is o. All together, that says zero. Can you write zero? Now, that's our lesson about zero finished. But the next lesson is going to be about the number, which is one more than zero. What number is one more than zero? You think about it and I'll be back soon to teach you all about that number.